the Merdeka skyscraper is rising fast. Crews are installing the giant window panels and testing the LED lighting that will be one of the tower's signature features. But one major showpiece of the tower's design is still to be built. The atrium, an enormous structure at the building's entrance. The volume of the atrium is to do with the scale of the building. We're standing underneath one of the tallest buildings in the world. It's appropriate to have an atrium, an entry experience, a start to the building, which is equally wondrous as the tower itself. This will be a 450-foot-high hollow shell of steel and glass. What is that? It's a huge space. As you walk into the entrance of the building, you can look all the way up 44 floors. Assembling this giant steel frame in midair is a precarious job. And the team has reached a crucial stage. They're installing the central piece of the atrium's framework, called the node. It's the heaviest single segment of steel on the entire project. This will be the biggest lift of the build, and it's got Gary worried. What we are going to lift now is 52 tons. Quite heavy. Quite heavy, yes. This 120,000 pound block of precisely engineered steel is the most important part of the tower's vast atrium. The team must lift the node at exactly the right angle so it fits onto its supports perfectly. To do that, they use two cranes, one to hold the bottom end clear of the ground and the other larger crane to rotate it. Once it is at the right angle, the main crane lifts it up the tower and the workers on the atrium's colossal steel beams carefully guide the node into position. They must get the placement of this behemoth perfect because it alone will hold the entire 42-story atrium together. The two cranes quickly rotate the node to the correct angle. Workers detach the smaller crane. And the bigger crane begins the main lift. The crew is forced to halt the operation. We're lowering it back down, and we'll start again later. And the alarm goes off to evacuate the site. The next morning, the crew raises the node back up as quickly as possible. But they can't rush the final placement because there's no room for error. You have to get it in the right position. You have to maybe tilt it to the left, tilt it to the right. If it's out by one degree, it's not going to meet up with that mega column. Manipulating 120,000 pounds of steel is hard work. But finally, the node is in position. Fantastic. Good job. Well done. Thank you, sir. All right, Thanks. good. Now the rest of the giant atrium can rise up safely. Now that's in, we can just carry on and fly straight up the side of the building now with the rest of the steel. This crystalline-shaped skyscraper climbs to the clouds. And Asia's tallest tower 
becomes a new jewel in the crown for Malaysia's skyscraper city. It's iconic because of what it represents. To come together and bring progress, not only for our current generation, but for future generations. Part of the success of all major buildings is the fact that they work on people's imaginations. That sort of symbolism is what makes these sort of buildings legends within a city.